Hi, I'm Mel Keat and welcome to my video show reel. Since moving to Brisbane in 2013 to study journalism, it's been my passion to discover everything this vibrant city has to offer. From exploring student accommodation to celebrating local landmarks, I present to you my latest work. I'm Jade, I live in Petrie. I live with my brother, my two parents and my grandma. I pay zero rent and it takes me about an hour and a half to get to uni. I don't really spend much time at home. I feel like I'm always trying to find a balance between spending, when I have downtime, spending time with my family and spending time with Isaac. To live closer to uni would be fabulous. Um, <laughs> it takes a lot of time traveling, time that I feel could be better spent if I live closer to uni. My name's Sergio Jakarta and I live in Orkin Flower. I live with three guys and two girls and we met at college. So in a way the house feels more like a family. Seeing as the two girls and I have the biggest rooms, we pay about 125 a week and the guys wet, um, pay 110 a week. I think a house was better for us than apartment and all that. Partly because of um, noise complaints and not having to worry about all the people living in the block. And I love this house because it's real dingy. Even if you leave like little scars, you know, you can't really notice. My name is Patrick Walsh and I study at Emmanuel College. I have a scholarship with University of Queensland. It's like an excellent scholarship. And then I have a, a Benigo Bank scholarship too for regional and rural kids. And then I also have a scholarship with Emmanuel as well. So between those three things, I've been able to afford college. I, my experiences have been predominantly of like leadership roles. Um, so not, not typical, like third year college experience. I had I've had such a positive experience for the past three years. It's just been, in my mind, all pros. My name's Heidi Deeney. I live in Kamira, which is on the outskirts of Brisbane. I live at home with my son, my mum, and her partner. We live sort of together in this sort of extended family for financial reasons. And living this far out, it's a lot cheaper. The rent is only. Um, 375 a week and that's between all of us. If I was really really well off financially I probably would move closer but finding a big place with a nice backyard for him to have some space is, is a lot different to being able to just find an apartment or a share house or something. This October marks the 100 year anniversary since the completion of Red Hill's famous St. Bridget's Church. And to celebrate this momentous birthday, members of the Brisbane community were invited to come see the church in all her splendour. As part of the Brisbane Open Houses event last weekend, the Jubilee Parish hosted a series of guided tours through the church on Sunday to showcase one of Brisbane's most iconic heritage buildings. Father James O'Donoghue from the Jubilee Parish says he feels proud to be part of such a special event. You know, it's, I suppose it's a very iconic Brisbane sort of scene as Jan Jorgensen, one of the artists who uh, features this uh, church quite a bit, says it's a bit like, um, you know, what Sydney uh, Opera House is to Sydney Harbour. Um, St Bridges is at least to this end of Brisbane at least and the like, so it um, certainly is a very um, well-known church. Cakes and sausages were on offer for the church's guests, along with various other family-friendly activities. St Bridget's is just one historic building featured in the Brisbane Open Houses weekend. Others include City Hall and Queensland Government House. Queensland Government architect and organising force behind this year's event, Malcolm Middleton, says he hopes to see more members of the community coming together to celebrate Brisbane's best architectural design. An open house is the kind of catalyst that for many people they make an effort on open house day and they go and look at a few things and, and that builds a community pride and it's cultural capital in the community. This is Mel Keat reporting from Red Hill, Brisbane. <laughs> Well, that's all I have time for at the moment, but if you enjoyed my work and want to get in contact, please don't hesitate to do so through the details included in this video. Thanks for watching.